It wasn't the pandemic, but the pandemic was fucking with me. The thing that fucked with me the most was what my neighborhood had become. Yeah. And not from you telling me. You know how people tell you shit? Mm-hmm. No, no. What I saw. Yeah. And once I see something, that's it. I don't give a fuck what anybody tells me. I saw a guy get hit by a four by four. In a tra- at the bus station in North Hollywood, where we drove by thousands of times. I saw a guy hitting people with a four by four, not a two by four. Oh. Who leaves the house with a four by four? Jesus Christ. Okay, I saw a fucking CVS, Studio City. I saw a white guy and an African-American hooker fighting at CVS at 10 in the morning in Studio City. I've been going to that fucking thing for five years, that CVS. That's why I got all my prescriptions and shit. I saw like three or four things. Then I had the glass door in my house. So I kept feeling that they were going to kick the front door in. So I went right to the Armenian, and I'm like, dog, I need a gun. We ain't got time to stand on line in Burbank. And he brought me like a fucking 45 <laughs> with a bazooka and shit, <laughs> and I gave him like two grand. I go, don't come back without a gun. Wow. This motherfucker came back three days later with like a fucking AR-15 <laughs> in a suitcase with a violin. I'm like, oh, my God. So now one thing I don't like, I do not like weapons. I'll shoot you, but I don't want to have a weapon. I can't have a weapon. You don't want to want to have a weapon, right? You don't want to I feel want that you weapon. need to have a weapon, though. Uh, no. You worry that don't just ever the energy like of it? Yeah, you don't want to feel like you want I, I you need messed to have around with weapon. weapons for years. You know, I got in trouble yeah. with a weapon. And I always said that when I put weapons on, I met more people that had weapons on. Mm. Do you follow what I'm saying to you? When I was a civilian hugging people, I never felt a weapon. But when I put a weapon on in 86, for three years after I got arrested... Most people I dealt with had a weapon, so I considered it a magnet. It was, a, for me, in my mind, it felt like a magnet yeah. of fucking bad shit. Those two guns I had in the house, they didn't, they didn't feel right with me. You weren't going to bust into my house and, you know, hurt my daughter or my wife. But that was, having those two weapons in the house did not feel good. With California me. has very creepy laws when it comes to that, too. I didn't it's give very a creepy. fuck about the laws. I will... Get rid of that gun before the cops even get there. <laughs> Trust me. I had 10 neighbors that were cool as shit. Take it like I, I got an OJ. Where'd, where'd OJ shit go to? You got neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> you got neighbors. I killed the bitch. Hide the fucking shirt. Whatever. I just didn't like it. I didn't yeah. like having that weapon. I didn't like having a 45 in my car. Yeah. And then on the day I flew back here, I'll never forget that I had that. I gave him back the AR. And I had the nine millim the forty five, and the people called me and they're like, "Are you bringing a weapon with you on the plane?" Because I flew on a private plane now, during COVID. I had the cats and shit, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, I go, "Yeah, I'm gonna bring the gun with me." And that night, I said no, and I gave it to Brett. Mm. I called him the next month. I go, "Come pick up this fucking forty five from me." Psst. He still has it. He's holding it for me. I don't want it. That's how I didn't like that fear. Yeah, I re- when I saw Latin Kings uh, spray paint on my daughter's school, Colfax Elementary, same school Bert sent his kids, mm. that wasn't good. Yeah. I just saw a lot of shit up there that I would never saw in the Valley. You see it in Hollywood, yeah. you know, shit like that. So that's good that you brought that up because I forgot how scary it was. It, it was got, scary for a few weeks. It got very strange because it got different. It felt like everybody was more on edge. There was a, I saw a bunch of lootings. It was crazy. Like someone broke into this closed store. They smashed the windows and ran into it. And we were we were um, by this Target. And these people had blocked the door of the Target with a dumpster and lit the dumpster on fire. And they were telling everybody to get out of the building, put it, put down whatever you're purchasing, run out of the, the exit right now. It got real weird with all that Antifa stuff. It got very strange. And people were emboldened to do things. And after the George Floyd um, death, when it was the riots and they lit the cop cars on fire, there was this real feeling, this real fuck the police, we're going to do whatever the fuck we want and no one's going to stop 